Hello people, my name is Fox, and welcome to a Commander Deck Tech for my five color Ramos Mutate deck that I call Deoxy Ramos Nucleic Acid. Yeah, you can, you can go ahead and thumbs down because the puns, they, they don't stop. They yep, five color mutate. It was the only way I thought I could actually build a functional mutate deck uh, was with five colors. Rainbow seemed like a perfect fit. Gets stronger for the more colored cards you cast. And there's quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of multicolor cards in this deck. Uh, the five mythic mutates and all the fun, goofy stuff. Right, let's get on with everyone's favorite. Lands. Okay, so I went super cheap on the land base here. I've actually been doing that a lot lately, going super cheap on land bases just because they're boring to me, and I'd rather not spend a lot of time. So we got mountains, we got swamps, we got salt, we got broccoli, and of course we got MSG. We got all the st we got all the good stuff. Then some cool stuff like Ash Barons, Exotic Orchard, Path of Ancestry, Ghost Quarter, a good card I put in pretty much every deck. I suggest putting Ghost Quarter in as many decks as you can. Good removal spell, good land just in general. Rogue's Passage, Rogue's Quarry Tower, Thespian Stage, Evolving Wilds, and Tormorphic Expanse. And technically, I am playing Fetch Lands. These are lands that fetch cards out of my deck. Uh, specifically, fetch lands out of my deck. So yeah, I'm playing Fetch Lands. See? See Fetch Lands. And I didn't I didn't have to I didn't have to sell blood or plasma to get them. See? See? Reprint fetch lands, wizards, you bastard. Man Tower, High Market, and Fable Passage. Look, another fetch land. This one actually costs a little bit more, but still it's a fetch land. Build cheap land bases. You'll be a happier person. Got some cool artifacts. So we got Cauldron of Souls, and this is one of the cards that works off of Mutate's uh, weird ruling. Now, I'll be completely honest, I don't 100% understand all of Mutate's uh, rulings and effects. I know a good amount of them as far as what happens when you blink them or when they have something like a persist counter. When that happens, they come back into play all separated as different creatures. While they're in play, they count as one creature completely. But once they blink and they come back, they all separate. Now, if that works, persist, uh, blink effects, uh, things like undying become really, really functional for this deck, and it helps me basically have a time bomb on the field that I can blink at any time and immediately have a field of creatures. So I'm kind of hoping that's how it works. Everything I've been reading says that's how it works, and if it's so, that's, this, is, this becomes a really a really fun deck. So Cauldron of Souls gives some stuff Persist. Then we got Sensei's Divining Top, and I'm pretty sure just Mana Rocks from here on. Uh, yeah, pretty much just, just a bunch of Mana Rocks. It's five color. You need you need your mana fixing. He says as he insults land bases. All right, some instances and sorcery. So we got some removal, got some draw, some more draw, some tutoring, some ramping, some creature searching, some blink effects like Astral Drift and Otherworldly Journey. There are probably better cards, but I'm testing out different cards, okay? Uh, if you have suggestions, and trust me, I'm sure you're going to have suggestions, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I really don't know how Mutate works all that well. I'm pretty shit when it comes to building five color decks. I really go cheap on cards, so let me know some good things. Also, here's a really cheap card, Worldly Tutor. Uh, command, uh, Counterspell, Boros Charm, then we got Treasure Cruise, Regrowth, Ponder, and a Serum Visions. Yeah, I probably don't need to play Serum Visions or Ponder. There are probably way better cards I could be playing, but I just built the deck. Cut me some slack. Chantlements, we got Greater Good. I love this card. Uh, very good draw spell, sacrifice spell. Impact Tremor, so you remember how I said that when you blink uh, a mutate creature, they all come back separately? They enter the battlefield, so things like Impact Tremors and Perforos work. Uh, and then Minions Return. Love this card. I play it in any black deck I make because you can enchant an opponent's creature and then get it back once you wrath. And finally, the creatures. They make up pretty much the big bulk of this deck. So here we go. Now, I'm trying to play as many of the full arts that I own. I'm still missing a few. Uh, and you might notice not every mutate is in this deck. That's because some of the mutate creatures aren't all that good. So I don't really want to play them. I don't think I'm playing the, um, the Cloud Thrasher. I think that's his name. The Boros Dinosaur. I'm not playing that one because it really doesn't do too much for the deck. Uh, but playing Archipelagor, Trumpeting Gnar, Cub Warden, Dreamtail Heron, Gem Razor, Vulpakeet because he is Lord and Savior, Parcel Beast, uh, Porky Parrot, Cavern Whisper, Insatiable Hemophage, Urge Bat, Lord Dracus, Majestic Oracorn, Boneyard Lurker, Pouncing Shore Shark, one of the greatest artworks of all time. Just straight up. I, I know people say these don't look like magic cards. I disagree. They look amazing. Auspicious Strix, uh, Glowstone Recluse, Necropanther, another awesome artwork, Migratory Great Horn, Sea Dasher Octopus, one of my favorite full arts that I don't own yet, uh, Chittering Harvester, again, I need to get the full art. I don't think this comes in full art, I wish it did. Otremi, the Ever Playful, Mind Leecher, then I got Snap Dask, Snap Dax, Jesus, 
by Elante. Um, I'm not a fan of the Godzilla artworks, so I am gonna be looking to get rid of this soon and pick up, uh, I wanna pick up all five of these full art ones. Um, so I'll probably trade this away. I, I, I know they're probably pricey and it's cool, it's a box hopper and it's foil. First off, I hate foils. Second off, I just don't like Godzilla. Uh, I'm just not a fan, so there you go. Uh, Brokos, Vadrock, Eluna, and then I got some uh, utility creatures like Mirror Entity, Restoration Angel for the Blink Effect, Polywalk Symbiote, one of the few creatures that actually works for mutate decks. Uh, it's a looter as well. Birds of Paradise for the ramp. Perforos, like I said before, all the, they all enter the battlefield when you blink them, so Perforos triggers, Spark Double, and Clever Impersonator. So I'm running these two because apparently... When you copy a creature that's mutated, like let's say I have Ramos on the field with five mutates on him, that's happened before, it's fun, it's really fun, uh, and you copy it, you copy that whole stack. Uh, so with Spark Double, the better effect is you get a second Ramos because it doesn't come in as a legendary, and also you get the whole mutate stack of Spark Double. So that means if I mutate the Spark Double, I get all the triggers of that mutate that are on the other Ramos. So... Mutates busted and stupid and fun. And Clever Impersonator, also to copy Ramos, uh, kind of, but also because it copies enchantments and other things, and it's a fairly useful card. And that is Ramos. So tell me what you think. Give me your ideas. Uh, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any ideas, if you have any decks that you want to see me build, uh, right now I have a lot of time on my hands, and I have all the new commander decks and commander cards, and I want to build some stuff. I'm actually working on Skeleton Tribal again. I want to see if I can build a decent Skeleton Tribal deck, which is damn near impossible, but I'm going to try. Uh, working on some monocolor decks as well, and just, yeah, how you guys doing? You doing good? You feeling good? You eating your beans? Of course you are. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you later in more videos, but until then...